All right, dudes, we're back. We got... Let's see. Wow, where are we? Let's see. We just uh, escaped from prison. We escaped from prison. And we are in the first building. Yeah, this is where we... Uh, if you don't realize where we are... First of all, let's take care of these things. Let's just get rid of these. Hang on. I got a, I got a Mac thing here. Let's just remind me tomorrow. Okay. Um, first of all, we got to get rid of or take out, you know what? I'm going to just, for now, let's just chaff these things. Cause I mean, those are guns They're They have guns on them, these, uh, security cameras. So last thing we want to do is get, uh, yeah. You guys remember this? Remember this when we climbed up here and then we, uh, snuck in and, uh, that's where we, uh, met up with who was essentially, we found out at this point hold on let's just go ahead and take care of these things oh I can't what you can't aim up high enough we're gonna take our time with this take out this security camera oh you see how it wobbles so much that's why you needed that diazepam what? You're saying you can't shoot these things. Oh my gosh. That is a disappointment. What if I use... Stop it. Okay. Nikita missiles will do it. Watch this. Did that do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of those guys. Somebody was trying to call me. Who was it? Let's find out what's going on with Campbell. To get to the underground base where Metal Gear is, you'll have to climb the communications tower on the north side of the cave. So basically we have to get back to the point where we were at when we were kidnapped and uh, thrown into the holding cell by Sniper Wolf. Uh, let's check in with everybody. What does Nastasha have so, to say? The terrorists intentionally set their deadline to coincide with the signing of the START 3 Accord. According mm. to the terms of START 3, both Russia and the U.S. are to reduce the number of their nuclear warheads in deployment to between 2,000 and 2,500 missiles. The current president has not yet had any major foreign policy successes. His term will be up soon, and the word at the White House is that he desperately wants this one for the history books. Typical politician. It is a big concern for him and his supporters. Well, I would say it's a big concern for the rest of the world, too. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. <laughs> Trust your instincts as a gamer, man. Looks like you escaped. I'm glad. No thanks to you. Too bad. I thought you'd be able to figure out what my plan was. What are you talking <laughs> about? I was just lucky that security was careless. His plan was that if you use the ketchup, and he even said it, it's the right color and the right consistency, Snake. But Snake is just kind of a... He's not super smart, like Otacon is, I guess. Anyway, the whole thing was, I just hid, basically. <laughs> hid under the bed. And then knocked the guy out when he couldn't find me. If, what if that worked every time? Uh, did we get a chance to really look through here? Not much. I mean, we might as well collect some things. I think that there's some more you know, rations. Good idea to stock up on those. This is where, so if you guys remember, this is where, oh, hold on. Snake, get that bomb out of your items. What? Select the bomb in the equipment window and press the circle button to throw it away. Hurry. Oh my gosh, I totally away. didn't even know. I didn't even look at my equipment. Oh. Where is it? Timer. Oh man. 
gonna blow any second. Oh, you almost killed me, man. Those sneaky bastards. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot, you'll pay for that. Man, <laughs> I feel like the director just sits around and goes, how do we mess with the player? Like, how do we, how do we turn everything up on its head? Like, I think he's been thinking that way for so many years that it's just everything is about how to trick the player. Uh, that was very clever. Put a bomb in your inventory. Because who's going to look for something like that? But it's a great little interaction to keep you on your toes. And it, it kind of shows you, hey, you know, expect some unexpected stuff. And really pay attention to w what you're doing. Really slow down. It kind of forces you to have to slow down. Uh, oh, so yeah. A little quick review. This was where we saw the... Um, oh, gosh. Uh, we saw his body in the holding cell. Rotting. This is where uh, it was decoy octopus. I think we can go back in here. To kind of just give you a little brief review. Oh my gosh, I'm right on camera right here. Look at this. So yeah, back in that... You know what? Let's just... Uh, this is totally unnecessary. We're just exploring. Roll with me on this one. I love this kind of connectivity. This kind of like just seeing how everything fits together and just so that I don't accidentally mess up I'm gonna just go ahead and take care of that uh, camera yeah let's just take care of that camera real quick oh, oh I guess you can't because it's like, it's watching you? I think I go right along the wall. I want to get rid of this camera. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Um, this way we can look around this room a little bit more. These are some really neat kind of old school designs for consoles. I love this kind of stuff. It, it looks like 80s future tech, like Running Man kind of an era. Like, uh, I guess you'd call it almost like a retro future. Because, I mean, it's sterile. Like, nobody would make anything like this, even in the military, would they? But it's just, just, like, believable enough. So, there he is. So that is the actual guy. And the guy that we saw that died in the cell... That was actually a decoy octopus pretending to be him. And that's why this guy's body is like, you know, it's maggot infested. It's been sitting here for a while. Like a, he died like a few days earlier, or like a week ago. Um, and so the fox died. The thing, have we revealed this yet? Naomi gave you a, an injection before the mission, which is awfully suspicious. And uh, spoiler alert, there might've been something else in that. There might have been something else in that peptide shot. Um, which is weird because she's on your mission group. She's in your team. So we are trying to get back to that bridge. Was it a bridge or just the connecting area between the two towers where we fought Sniper Wolf? No. Uh, wait, yes, this is the correct area. Ah! We're going to have to pass through here again. Again. They really use the whole base. I'd say if they did a remake, I would want to see a little bit more of the base. I'd like to go outside of the building. I, I, they probably won't do anything like that. I guess it's asking a lot. Because a lot of people would be like, well, I just want the original like, recreated and like a higher quality kind of like how they did demon souls like so right now at this point in time we don't we don't have any official announcement for a remake of this game there's just rumor and speculation that blue point is making a remake of this game and i do believe it will get remade uh will it get remade by blue point i don't know um 
I almost feel like it's too small of a game to just do a direct remake for it. And this is all speculative, by the way. But I kind of think, uh, based on what I know about Kojima, and I do know Kojima, uh, he does like to, you know, subvert your expectations. Um, I'll tell you the story of how I met Kojima uh, in a future video, but basically uh, he was saying he's cool with doing a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1, but whoever does it, he wants them to do their own kind of take on it. And I don't know, I guess what he's trying to say is like, if you're going to do a remake, do a remake the way that they do a film remake, which is like a totally different take on it. You know, don't just uh, copy it shot for shot. I think he likes those sort of auteur, you know, directors doing their thing with it. So let me see if I can remember. Yeah, we have to get back to, oh boy, there's a guy coming. He won't see us if we're crawling. So we have to get back to Psycho Mantis's office. It's funny that he wouldn't see us. We're sitting right here. I wonder if I could rebuild this in Unity Engine. Just rebuild it so that I could like expand on it and make new rooms. Basically make a Metal Gear Solid 1 Part 2. <laughs> Unofficial, of course. Without Konami shutting me down. We're going to do some bold, take some bold action here. I'm going to take a risk. This is really risky because I think he's going to... Yeah, see? I'm just gonna take him out. No wait, elevator's already here. No point in risking it. Let's go to B1. Yeah, this should be Psycho Mantis's office. So he was saying that he likes he would he would be up for having somebody do their own take on it. And they kinda did that when they did the Twin Snakes version. And the Twin Snakes version is okay. It's good. I mean, it's got like Metal Gear Solid 2 gameplay. It'd be neat to see those kind of upgrades. Um, more than that, though, I'd just love to see a sequel. I'd just love to see something that's like a sequel to Phantom Pain. It'd be great if you could go back to Shadow Moses, but not necessarily like a remake of this. We already know the story. It's a great story as it is. But I guess to bring it up to the quality of the times would be neat. I feel like it, it would just feel so different if they did it the way that uh, the Resident Evil games are done, for instance. Okay, do you remember how we got that handkerchief? See how it says, uh, Sniper Wolf's handkerchief smells faintly of her. Now the wolves are going to love her, of course. So I think they're going to leave us alone. They should. We're going to find out. Did you see that? That wolf just jumped right into the freaking wall and then disappeared. I'm finding a couple of glitches in this run. See that? Hey, all right. Hey, buddy. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah, good boy. You can't pet him, though. You cannot pet the dog. Sorry. You cannot pet the dog in this one. That's uh, one thing Kojima didn't think of that one. So how I met Kojima, I, uh, I am a game developer, which means I go to E3 every year. I've been going to E3 since 2000. No, 1999. When, when was the first one in Los Angeles? I saw the first announcement trailer for Metal Gear Solid 2. I sat on the floor in front of the booth. I was like a 20 year old kid. And uh, maybe 21. And that wasn't when I met him, but uh, he did hang out at the booth back then. It was a small industry back in 2000. Still very small industry. Probably less than a thousand developers total. And uh, so I went to, uh, I was working in comic books and then I ended up working in video games. I started, I started making indie games with, uh, on the Game Boy Advance basically. We were working for Capcom. Then I ended up getting a job at Capcom. A friend of mine who worked at Capcom was buddies with Kojima. So that whole handshake thing that he does in, uh, that they've got going on in Metal Gear Solid 4, that came from his handshake with my buddy. So anyway, when we were at E3 in probably 2003, it was before Snake Eater. So it was really before Kojima was like known as a legend, you know, he was still kind of a, 
just, you know, a celebrated game developer, but he wasn't, you know, super famous. Anyway, so we went to E3. I saw a Midget Kiss band. It was awesome. I saw <laughs> Jimmy Eat World. There was like a, a, it was a big, huge outdoor to do run by Sony. And uh, of course, Kojima and his crew were there. And uh, yeah, we thumb wrestled and I gave him a piggyback ride. It was dope. Uh, he cheats though. He cheats. Kojima cheats at thumb wrestling, just so you know. Don't don't ever thumb wrestle Kojima. He would probably hate that I tell this story because dude's a legend and uh, he tends to like to present himself as, I mean, you know, I mean, he's a rock star director, you know. Hmm. I think he enjoys the mystique is what I'm trying to say. I do not keep in touch with him. It was my one runner. More of a casual meeting, I guess you'd say. Oh, poor Meryl. It's terrible. Like, torture to watch her get hurt. I, I, I can still so hopeful. Help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake. About Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Mm. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake. Find out. Forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Hmm, not like uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Awfully suspicious, Naomi. Uh, you know, how does one get the name Master? Uh, <laughs> I think his real name is Cause.
All right. Uh, we're coming up on an area I do not remember very well. So we got to play it careful. We got to play it safe. Look at these corridors, man. It's meant to look like it's really dark, and that vignette around the outside of the screen gives it a kind of a vibe, but it's set to like a multiply. It's an interesting lens effect to just make the room feel a little bit more dark, to feel like it's not perfectly well lit. It's a tough feat to do. Oh, wait. Now that was scripted. You can't avoid that. I grab the rope. Oh my gosh, they're right on my ass. Do I stop to shoot them or just... I think maybe it would be good if I stopped to shoot these guys. Alright, GTFO. Don't stop. You can't stop! Ah, I forgot about that. You kind of have to be ready to shoot whilst running. I don't have the body armor. Did I miss that someplace? I think I missed it. Oh, dude. You know what? I'm going to leave it on the rations because I just have this feeling like I'm going to get into some trouble here. I don't have the number six key card. Yeah, okay, so you gotta hold down the bottom button, X, and then you can run while shooting. I'm keeping on the rations through here because you're gonna take some bullets, man. Oh, they still got me. Oh, because my clip was empty. You see that? You see how it used the, the rations automatically? Ooh. I'm still not doing great. I mean, I went through a couple of rations here. There's no way to avoid this part. You have to have the FAMAS. It's like the only way. And you've got to have a good amount of rations, which I am getting low on. This is so tall. They're going to make me climb the whole tower. Dude, oh, you're gonna make it, Snake. I am not doing great. Okay, that's the last ration. I might not make it. Holy shit. I promised you guys that this would be a masterful playthrough. And, uh, well, I didn't say masterful, but I said it would be pretty good. We're getting some close calls. That I almost died there. That almost didn't work out too well. Can we look down? Yeah, a little bit. Whew. Oh, my heart's racing. I gotta calm down. I got that combat high he was talking about. And I know that there are also, I think there were some other items that we missed. Maybe a ration. Nothing too crazy, nothing too important. I don't remember what's up here. Am I in for a big surprise? I'll bet I'm in for a big surprise. Let's just use it. Because, like, I don't want to get caught unawares. I do have the number six key card. I do. Huh. Well, does that mean that I can use that? Oh, no, it's frozen shut. I think the uh, the door that we ran past is frozen shut. We're on the connecting bridge now. Dudes, I almost prefer the low-poly approach that they did in this one versus the PS2 version in the second one. 
Like, I would love, oh my god, I would love a D-make of Metal Gear Solid 2 done like this in low poly. Could somebody do that? Does anybody want to help me do that? I'll bet we could get David Hayter to voice it too. Well, we just use the audio log. What the hell? Konami shuts you down. Damn! Snake! I'm afraid I can't let you get past you. Liquid! You're not going any farther. Die! down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a <laughs> hide with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay oh, here, the equipment I'm I have finished. Now. You can't do much. You kind of have to... Where's the rope? There we go. <laughs> you have to do this. You have to jump. Die Hard style. Come to California, have a few laughs. Okay, I forgot how to do this. Do they remind you of the controls? You have to like bounce off of the wall as you repel. Here's how to repel. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump okay. while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If My health is low? If you press the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If okay. you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you repel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. I'm a little nervous because... Oh, well they refill your health, which is good. Oh no, there's a... What are you doing? I need that ration. You can't use rations. I'm not doing good, guys. I'm doing really bad, actually. Really bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I think we just restart that part. To be fair, it's not really that skill based. And if you're not practiced with it, I think you're kind of expected to. No, I'm just making excuses. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, like if you wanna go. That makes sense. This is that door. Whew. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. Oh wait, there's dudes over there. 
isn't there? Yeah, let's check it with the scope. They're like waiting for me. And we got a hind above us. Can we go through this door? It's frozen. Snake, why don't you try the door that leads from the walkway to Tower A? Well, I, I just did, dude. Did you not? Did you not hear that? Did you not hear that? I love games, dude. I love old school games. Snake, why don't you try the? Yeah. Okay. So, does somebody else say something that might be useful here? Because that's not very useful. Great job! You made it down. It wasn't easy. Snake, the doorway that leads from the walkway to Tower A is frozen shut. If you use yeah. some C4, you should be able to get through. Right. I totally remembered that. I, um, I wanted you to discover it, though. This is an interactive playthrough. I don't want to just spoon-feed you the answers, man. Okay, so... Wait, did I plant it? Yeah, it's here. If you go to first person, you can see how you're detonating it. Okay, so yeah, just to be sure, I don't remember what's over here. I think those guards are gone. Has anybody modded this game? I'm going to have to make a note of that and like look it up because if there are mods to this game with other with new stages or something, I would totally play that. Hell, I'd love to mod it. I want to start a game studio that just makes PlayStation 1 era games in like 2021. All low poly. I can hear motors running. Are there cameras around here? Yeah, I want to start a game studio that just makes PS1 level detail in games. Not like the crummy PS1 games. I'm talking about like something like this, but with a little bit of modern sense too. Like, I love a little bit more camera control, but I love the low poly retro vibe. Maybe we'd make our own game console too. Not the PlayStation, but like the Playport. <laughs> Let's see. That. New on Playport. Metal Gear Solid 3D make. Oh my gosh, Phantom Pain. D make. <laughs> Looking like this. But like a big open world. I'll take it. I'll take it. I love low poly pixelated textures. That's my jam. So what's the deal? Do we... I believe... I believe I have to go this way anyway. And what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to take those fools out with an Akita. Watch this. Because they give you an Akita missile right here. Which is kind of like a hint. They could have sniped them, I guess. Is this the thing I'm... Is this what I'm supposed to do? It's like bowling. They just repopulate. So that is not what I'm supposed to do. You know what? That's good. I guess we just go back up. What happens if you go down, though? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I know this is... Sorry, dudes. This is going to drag out. I might just, like, speed it up. But I got to know. I got to know what happens if you just decide, like, to go, Hey, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave. Do they say something to you? Because I don't think I've got the equipment to fight that hind. And I know that the weapons I do need are on the other end of that connecting bridge. So I'm not sure... It's funny because I remember what I have to do, but I don't remember if I have to wait for somebody to tell me 
what to do. There might be a, a, a trigger, an event trigger, where they're like, you have to wait until Campbell Damn. tells you. Well, they won't let me leave. There's only one way to go. And that's interesting for from a game designer's perspective. It's like just having Snake be able to walk up to that door and then him say damn tells you there's only one way to go. But how do I get the missiles? Uh, the It's the missile launcher. Not the Nikita, the... I forget what it's called. Basically, it's just a... It's a rocket launcher that you can lock on with. So why climb down if my whole thing is th that I just have to go back up? There's somebody watching right now that's like, No, dummy. You're supposed to go do that other thing. Whoa. For somebody who's played this so many times, I claimed that I played this all the way through like 30 times. Like in episode one. And in my mind, I know that I've played it many, many times over. Like I know what I have to do. I just don't remember how to trigger the thing that gets me there. <clears throat> my memory is not as good as other people. I watch uh, like gaming podcasts where they're like, Oh yeah, remember that game from 10 years ago where you have to do that obscure thing and they remember all the details and the motivations of every character? And I'm not that. I'm probably one of those people that's going to have Alzheimer's or something when I'm old. <laughs> because I forget things that happened in my favorite game that I've played 30 times. Or maybe I just remember that I played it 30 times. And it's actually a lot less. We're going to find out. I'll bet it's just going to tell me to go back down. Because there's a, there ain't nothing up here but a hind D. You know what? You have to go across that bridge. This is already sealed off. That's right. He blew the connecting bridge. This is, this is what uh, those experienced Metal Gear players are going to go. Dude, you should have known that. Come on. Why didn't you know that? I make no apologies. Like I said, man, ever since the bomb in my inventory, I'm playing it double safe. So what's our strat? I think sniper rifle? the dudes on the bridge because that's our thing we got to cross that bridge where there were the three guys that I was kind of like firing Nikita's at <laughs> we need a strategy to take those guys out I thought for sure the Nikita missiles would do it but they just keep coming camera through here is weird because you just have to hold right on the d-pad but I keep wanting to like angle it because your movement is, re is relevant uh, relative to the camera not to the space but it kind of changes sometimes that's not true it's weird I'd say that's kind of a design error okay I saw that we were really close now Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use the PSG-1 sniper rifle. Let's see about taking out these guys. It says... Because we have to get up that tower. These guys bulletproof? Oh see that's that's weird because it's like they 
Oh jeez. Is that happening? Are they actually shooting me? I'm gonna take some days again. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, now... Now I'll bet I can use it. That's a tricky thing, man. Play another one just to make sure. Oh, there's one more dude. Like I took these guys out. Dude. That's kind of BS. Okay, the music stopped. Totally unnecessary. I would say a bit of a glitch because I took those dudes out the Nikitas before. Then they made me waste all that time. Oh, we are in bad shape. I have no more rations. Look at this. No rations. how close that was the stinger that's what it's called the stinger now let's save you caught snake yeah in china they say rashness brings success to few misfortune to many Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear depending on the circumstances. Hmm. Play it by ear depending on the circumstances. So I believe there's an elevator in this one, so it's a little less of the same. Which I think is smart. If they had another area that's like, hey, you gotta run all the way down the stairs for like 10 minutes. That would be pretty annoying. Well, and here I'm running down the stairs. But it's not as it's not as long, trust me. But are there cameras? You know, I'm going down because I think I need equipment. I do not have any rations. Damn. And I also do not have any choice. <coughs> it looks like they're going to make me fight the hind with no rations. Oh, this one's a little bit more annoying. You have to actually turn. But if you turn too fast, you latch onto the wall. Of ammo. Hmm. What's going on? Somebody's here. Don't shoot! It's me! Don't shoot! It's me, Snake! Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you 
ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you... Do you think love can bloom, even on a battlefield? <clears throat> yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But... If you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, uh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. So how does he know that it was working before? That's a little bit of a weird... We haven't seen this elevator working. I need that stealth camo though. Camera's all wonky through here. It's that whole fixed cam thing. I believe there are. Ah, uh, you see that? Sneaky. You guys thought I was bad at this game. But if I had just rushed ahead, I'd be toast right now. That gun right there would have blasted the hell out of me. And with no. Oh, I did get a ration though. Did Otacon give me that? I'm gonna just go ahead and pop another one because I believe. Watch. There's more. <laughs> you gotta you guys thought I was just jiving you. <laughs> uh uh man. I'm former foxhound. I'm messing around. I ain't no jive turkey. Right. There more? Yeah, wow. Four of them. I'm not gonna start talking shit though, because as soon as I get cocky. That's when things go south. Every time. More stingers. Well, we got a few more rations. One ration. Dude. That's not gonna... Can I leave and then come back? I don't wanna go... Yeah, maybe I can leave and then come back. I doubt it. This game usually thinks of everything like that. But we saw those dumb AIs on the... Uh, the dumb AI on the guys on the, the bridge. So maybe... If I could glitch that, maybe then the... Rations will respawn. That's what I'm trying to do here. Because I need more rations. I doubt it. No. Okay, I don't know what to do, dudes. There's no way I can take out that hind D. without any rations. Hmm. 
Serious question for you dudes. Solid Snake or Naked Snake? Big Boss. Big Boss was known as Naked Snake in his younger years. I know you're Solid 3. Spoiler alert. Does it really count if you say spoiler alert after you say the spoiler alert? Okay. Uh, well, for one, obviously you need the stinger. But I want to just double check when I'm grabbing it. Hey, there's a ration. I believe there's another something, something. Sting in this. Is. Be careful because I think you can fall right off of that edge. And on the radar, there's a purple marker for where he is. And you can kind of track him. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Stinger. It'll still lock on. It does. Nice. It does a kind of a pattern. So, the trick that I found with this guy is you want to lock on and then wait for him to come into the clearing. Or, oh, don't do what I just did, okay? Don't do that. That's also bad. We are in really bad shape. Uh, you can use the night vision goggles. Not necessary, though. Sometimes you have body armor through here, too. But I forgot where the body armor was. I think I was supposed to go back to get it. Body armor would be nice when you're fighting a hind. I'm toast. There's no flipping way that I'm going to beat this guy. Gotta play it super safe. And even then, I don't think we have much of a chance. If I take one more hit, I'm toast. I think there are ways that you can, like, fire a shot off and then lock on if you're really skilled but I am not that skilled ah! I'm actually quite amazed that I've made it this far oh shit nice get out of there dude oh I'm watching the marker on the map a lot to try to figure out where he is some rations that pop up now. You gotta wait for the window to... Yeah. Well, nope, just stinger ammo. Yeah, he's going into, like, stealthy mode. You gotta wait for him to pop up. Get out of there, 
Oh, I'm so close. Did you see that? We don't have much of a chance, honestly. Like, this is just practice because the fact is, if I take one hit, I'm toast. He's doing this thing again. This time he'll pop up over here. The last thing we want to do is blast ourselves when he pops up. So we gotta make sure we got a clear shot. Let's see? He's behind that building, he's going right above us. This is gonna be close. So like he has a shot. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Did you see how I curved it over the top of that? If I pull this off, I, I think I will have earned the title of Master. And I don't think many people could deny it. It's going back under. I can't believe they only give you one ration for this. And then I went and blew it. Like, I lost all of my health pretty much in the first minute. And I've been winging it throughout the whole thing. And I got close to a clear shot. No. Oh! Oh! I lost the title of Master. What's wrong? Snake! Snake! <sighs> lose all of my health in the first 30 seconds that would be a good strat right oh do you think that let's check to see if that ration respawned maybe because it's a continue it'll give me that little edge that extra edge we got to find out it's a low risk that's not ration, that's like ammo. FAMAS. You can't fight a hind D with a FAMAS. Stingers only. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, is there any other weapon that I've got? Is there anything else I could do? Nothing on the ground, no. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, how much health have we actually got? I think I'm at full health right now. So, the snake's finally come out of this home. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you calling me brother? Yeah, we can skip this. First things first. Grab that ration. You're gonna need it, bro. And this time, this time, don't play it like a dummy. Watch this. See how it curves around? That was nice. It's really tough to lock on. Because you're using the D-pad, there's no, like, analog movement here. It's either... I don't know, it's like trying to move in binary. It was really close, by the way. Probably don't want to be so close to that wall when you're firing. Most of the damage I think I caught last time was from blowing myself up. Well, that's not entirely true, but... I think I did once, and it takes a lot of your health out. We're doing pretty good this time. It helps to have that practice run. See that? Oh no. Get out of there. Oh, dude. Two hits. I'm doing terrible. It's hard to lock on, man. Like I 
I said, there's no subtle movement. It's either like when you press right or left, it jumps way over. Jump right over top. I feel like I could stick my head out, but not worth the risk. It's behind the jump. Wait for him to clear it a little bit. He's gonna hit me. Damn it. I didn't even get a hit him. Too risky. Don't take any more risks, dude. Why did I have such a good run last time? Towards the end. How in the heck did he shoot me? I couldn't even see him. Oh, dude. Don't want to be on that. Uh, you don't want to be on that thing when these things hit. I'm pretty safe over here. Shot me too. We're in bad shape. I think you can heal if you lay down. Or is that on the latter ones? It's certainly not happening here. So if I take one more hit, I'm toast. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to do this. Again, this is really just practice. There's no way I'm going to do this without getting hit one more time. I wonder if it does more damage if you hit the tail versus the cockpit, for instance. Will it do more damage if you hit the cockpit? Not that it matters, like, trying to steer this thing is damn near impossible. It's not as frustrating as some other fights, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm not doing great, and it's certainly challenging, but, like, it's not... Okay, now it's frustrating. Take three. It's enjoyable, even though it's challenging, is what I'm trying to say. I wish there was a way to get more rations through here, though. I feel like I'm trapped. First things first. Grab that ration. So... Second thing, play it so stinking safe. First punch, first blood. Let's go for first blood part two. He always shoots immediately after getting hit. So you want to take cover. There you go. Nice. Yeah, 
buddy. <laughs> Woo! Somebody's getting smoked this time. Hmm. Yeah, I know there are ways to, like, fire it around the building and then lock on. One shot in. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good when you're, like, acing this guy. He hasn't hit me yet. But to be fair. What? Oh. To be fair, it is my third attack. So. so that's a cockpit shot. I think it did. I guess it did about the same amount of damage. good variety too. Like, a lot of games try to come up with a game loop. I don't know if this game has like a game loop. Oh my god. No. No. No, no, no. This is bad. Oh my god. Did you see what just happened? He hit me three times. Why? Because I was getting cocky. Come on, hovering right above me? I was thinking of making a play for the, uh... Yeah, let's make a play for the stinger missiles. shoot over the side, but it's really close. This is like kind of like phase two of the battle. Did it hit Yeah, when you get a hit off, you kind of really have to to hide and just get out of sight because when he gets pissed he just unloads everything he's got and you get a hit hide immediately you're not going to get a second hit He's going to just unload everything he's got. Here he comes. There we go. Ah! That's tricky. It's a 
feel like he's gonna hit me around the corner. Ah! Well, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's unfair. That felt a little unfair. I'll take another hit. So I think I, I can maybe take one more. I'm going to try to not risk it at all. This is an intense fight, man. Taking less time in hiding, though. I don't want to risk it until he's in the clear. I want to wait till I get a really nice clear shot. I might have one here. Don't shoot through the wall, man. Sometimes they do, and it's a rip off. It feels like a total rip off. From the point around the corner. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, get around there. We'll oh, get around there, little doggy. Okay. We are just chipping away at this pool. This is going to be a long video. Hide. <laughs> He's smoking. We are making progress, but the problem is when he hits you, he takes out so much damage. You can feel his frustration. The voice actor did such a good job. Tension. Oh. I am feeling the pressure. If I take one more hit, I'm done, but I only need to hit him like maybe three more times. Two, maybe three. I think three. Oh my god, get around the corner. Maybe one more hit. Maybe. Don't risk it, dude. We gotta wait until he goes down. Okay. My heart is pounding right now. Oh, please just give me this one. So I got him from around the corner. Oh no, I need one more. What happened? How did he get over there? Where is he? Dudes, that was so freaking intense. Oh, I gotta calm down. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. 
helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Oh my gosh, dudes. That was crazy. Uh, Liquid is dead. Where is he? Well, at least he shot himself down. So... And now we've got our, our elevator is going to be working. I think this is a good point. I think that, that was a really intense moment. I need to chill out. I need to calm down. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna take a little break. And then I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll, uh, the next video, oh my gosh. Oh, there's a really good, really good scene coming up. So uh, yeah, all right. Stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one.